Bogan's Guide Twine. G'day guys, welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide Twine. We've got a special episode for you today because we're in barley and we're going to try a special barley wine. This is the, how do you pronounce this? Plaga. Plaga Sav Blanc. And we're having it at the excellent Outback Wurong with my friends Roscoe and Zoe, the owners here. Roscoe. G'day. And Zoe. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, what can you tell me about this wine, you guys? Is it? It's a, it's, 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 a, it's a barley wine. It is. It is. The grapes are actually grown in Mar um, grown in Margaret River, yes, yeah. and brought over, and it's processed here. Yeah. So it, it's actually grapes that come. Yeah. It's not just bottled wine. No, 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 no. Grapes from Margaret River. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really interesting. And it's lovely. Because when we talked about it before, I actually got the impression that it was uh, came over in. Uh, Bats or something like no, that. No, 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 no. Grapes from like Not river and pressed here yeah. and actually, yeah. yeah. So there's actually, a, in fact, a winery here. Yes, there's quite a few. Oh, that's quite yes, interesting. Now, see, here's, a, here's a sin against God, but that's we are in Bali. Sorry. We are <laughs> got the yeah, ice in the wine first. It is warm. Sorry. It is warm. Some crew. Yeah. Yeah. But, hello. So we'll change that oh, over to uh, yeah. oh. right, <laughs> soon enough. All right, so. The normal drill is, guys, we have a bit of a look Cheers. at the colour. Cheers! Smell! Hang on, we don't, we don't just smell, we've got to uh, smell. Yeah. Have a little bit of a look. Color, so, color. Okay. the colour, yeah. it is a Saint Blanc, so it's got typical characteristics. Mm -hmm. We have got a bright uh, green uh, cloth, which is yeah. probably reflecting a lot of greenness, but it's I'll try to get that away from it. It is mm -hmm. still looks pretty green as a Saint yeah. Blanc usually does. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very nice. It looks bright and sparkly, so it's. Do you know nice what you're talking about or what? <laughs> very little. It's, it's just a big joke. It sounds good. Anyway, so anyway, so it looks nice. Cheers, does. Let's have a sniff. Okay, okay. let's have a sniff. Easy, sniff. you can have a sniff. Sniff. <laughs> yes, and. Okay. What is it? Okay, so we're meant to be looking for sort of a fruit notes or something like that. Do you find uh, anything in particular in there? I've got to say, it's not. Uh, it's not big, it's, the, the smell's quite uh, subtle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Agree? yes, yes, I would agree. That's a good terminology. <laughs> and? It says, it's just, yeah, it's got maybe a little bit of lemon, sort of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sort of agree. Lemon, well, lemon sort of yeah. tinges in there, maybe a little bit of lychee, possibly. Mm -hmm. I think all right, so, uh, so we've yeah. established the smell over here, Noel, over here, over here, over here. Over here, over here. <laughs> we've, esta we've established the smell isn't particularly uh, big, so we we'll bypass that and get straight into the uh, yep. taste. 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 Let's go. Cheers. Okay, cheers. 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 <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Can I? Okay. You'd expect a wine that's made in barley, even if it has got Margaret River grapes in it, you'd expect it to be nasty as hell. But it's not, this is no. actually not too bad at no, all. No, no. Particularly in the climate that we're in, it's got a nice uh, acidic yes. Uh, yes. grip there. It's, it's, uh, it's nice and bright. Like I couldn't imagine having a sap, uh, not a sap, I'm going to Chardonnay here because it might be a bit too heavy and yes, yeah. a bit too thick. But a sap blanc, I reckon, for this climate is pretty much all spot on. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad at all. It's but once again, it's very very subtle though. It's not. Uh, it's not, certainly not a big. Punch in your face. Sort of and lighter is, lighter is only maybe for the last 12 months on the market. It's relatively yeah, it's new. Really subtle. It's new to the market. Yeah. Yeah. So we had Happens Wine before, which was Balinese, but now like, maybe 12 months. Yeah, they've, yeah. they've been here about 12 months and they do uh, whites and reds and rosés or whatever. Most of them are similar in quality. Um, and if you Sir, you probably would think it's a little less than ordinary, but if you're if you expect to get barley and this is sort of wine you get, it's, it's very colourful. No, I think I think it's just it's, 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 really it's, it's just it's a wonderful sort of quaffer, and that's what you want here because yeah. this is generally Bintan country, so yeah, it's just really yeah. beer yeah. weather, it's yeah. not really wine. So it's weather. a lovely alternative, yes. especially um, when you're going out for a meal. So how much does a bottle of this cost? In, uh, well, how much does a bottle of this cost at the Outback Wurong? Three hundred thousand. Twenty bucks. Three bucks. Three hundred thousand. No. Three hundred thousand. Two hundred. No. No. Yeah. Do you want to show you? Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Because that's uh, that's perfectly. It's pretty good. Just perfectly fine for. Uh, right. And I guess you know, obviously the wine 
is uh, the wine selection is quite limited in Bali, it isn't is, it? So it is, uh, you get what you can get, and uh, yeah, this is perfectly fine. So just very quickly, tell us about the Outback Warong. Okay, the Outback started about two years ago, roughly. Uh, it started because uh, we've been living here for three years, and we not necessarily wanted something else to do. We just needed an alternative to consistently having Indonesian food. So we started it, and we had meat pies, and sausage rolls, and hamburgers, and risoles, and all made on the premises. Everything, everything that's from here is actually made and prepared on the premises. We don't buy any any uh, prepared stuff in. We buy all the meat, obviously, but we prepare it here. Um, it's turned into a, a meeting place sort of type, family type get together place again, um, which we really love. It's great, you know. There's a particularly nice thing on the menu I hear, isn't it? The Sampi's poutine. Is yeah, absolutely. That's, that's one of our yeah, that's one of our specials. All our Canadian definitely. friends all know what poutine <laughs> actually is. But, what, is uh, what is poutine? Poutine's chips, gravy, and cheese. It's yeah. like a yeah. really Westerners yeah. nachos. Yeah, so you've Sam's. got to try out yeah. the Sampi's oh, okay. poutine when you come down. He introduced that too, but also the fact that the barley japon is part of our the profits from the percentage of profits goes to an organisation in Bali, Bali Japon, which educates about. At the moment, about 75, 70 kids, 75 yeah. Balinese children. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the Bali awesome. Japoon Foundation is exceedingly uh, dogs running amok next to me here. It's a very, very good uh, uh, charity that you guys have started. It's non for profit. Yeah, no, we, we've got about, I think, about what, five or six kids ourselves in there, so it doesn't cost much and the money goes a long way. So, our Bukwurung. Japoon Foundation Plaga and Plaga Wine. Plaga Wine. Yeah. Come to Bali, come to Outback World. Come to Boomba. Come to see Land, Roscoe Boomba and Zoe. And We'd love to see you. And you'll have a, a good time. So, until next time. Just before we go, yeah. that's how you find us. It's in Bumback Street. Boomback. 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 We'll so, right now. There you go. Till right. next time, this has been Bogus Guides Wine in Bali. Whoa! Catch you later. Oh, Cheers! Yes. Yay! Oh, Cheers! Well <laughs> G'day guys, I just want to have a few more words about Bali Japoon Incorporated. Look, they're a small group of dedicated people who are committed to improving the lives of children and underprivileged Balinese families by providing a mix of education and health awareness, empowering families to be independent and self-sufficient. For 10 years, Bali Japoon Incorporated has embarked on a mission to put children through school and provide individuals with micro loans to establish income producing businesses. To learn more about these guys, visit their Facebook page and give it a like. It's www.facebook.com forward slash Bali Japoon Incorporated. Hope you sling them a few bucks as well, because a little goes a long way in Bali. Catch you later.